welcome back to Sony Sunshine HQ. I'm in the studio today with Jenny and the lovely Lisa and Celia are packing all your orders. Thank you once again for all your orders. This video this week we thought we'd um, do something a little bit different and focus kind of like do like a fabric edit for you and um, we're going to focus on animal print designs because all the kind of high-end designers are using animal prints for this season it's been mentioned as well in Vogue recently and I can't see animal prints going anywhere soon so we thought what would be awesome is to pull out all the kind of animal prints that we've got in stock at the moment and pair them up with some different patterns for you so hopefully that'll give you some inspiration on what to make with them. This is the first animal print inspired fabric I wanted to show you today. Um, this one I love because actually it's got lots of different kind of animal prints through it. You've got like your zebra stripe here, kind of like cheetah inspired um, spots there. And then obviously I really like the light blues and mustards that run through it. This is um, an ex-designer fabric from Italy. Um, it's a visco satin, so it almost like feels and handles like a silk so it's really lovely soft to touch it's got an amazing fluid drape to it um, obviously the stripes run parallel to the selvage here um, but what we were saying as a team what would be really cool about this fabric is you could play with the stripe direction for your chosen garment um, so Jenny pulled the paper cut patterns ravine um, and that was mainly because it's got a really cool like pattern like where the lines go on the skirt so what you could do like we said is play with the different stripe direction to really make it the fabric stand out with the dress this is um, an ex designer fabric from Italy this is a viscose crepe so it's got almost like a crepe like texture to it it doesn't actually crease um, easily which is brilliant um, and obviously it's got covered kind of like classic leopard print design with the zebra as well mixed in there and with the leopard print it's got metallic gold accents which aren't woven into the fabric they're printed on so you just have to be careful and mindful when you're washing this fabric and ironing it as well and then if you can see it's actually got like these huge leopard print like an actual leopard on the fabric it's really big and bold and obviously it's really highlighted with the gold accents so this is a really statement fabric um, we love it it's very very slightly sheer but I think I personally wouldn't line it but it's kind of personal choice really um, because it's a viscose it's got a really lovely drape and movement we thought it needed the, the this design because it's so statement it just needs to kind of be shown off and be the main feature so we thought like a dress um something like the farrow dress by grain line studio which is actually one of my favorite patterns uh, i think it's really interesting um construction techniques with this pattern um and we just thought this fabric would really be shown off lovely on the pattern this is another ex designer fabric from Italy. Um, this is a linen viscose blend. So it does have a little bit of drape because of the viscose content, but I'm pretty sure it's got more linen than viscose because it's actually quite structured as well. So I'd call it kind of like semi structured, semi fluid type drape to it. Um, it'd be lovely for the warmer months because of the high linen content and as you can see this one has a white background but it is actually opaque so no need to line it and then it's got covered in this really amazing blue and green zebra stripe inspired design which is really really fun um, with the viscose linen it's actually a really versatile fabric um, you could make lots of different things with it but the thing that we thought would work really well is the heather blazer by friday pattern company and you could even make a pair of matching trousers and like have a full-on kind of like zebra power suit fantasy going on um so we thought that would be really really awesome this is your classic leopard print design i really like this one actually because it's got 
obviously it's got the brown shading to it but it's all different kind of colors of brown so it almost gives it a very like 3d look to it it's a visco satin so it handles and feels like a very luxurious silk um, which is really beautiful very luxurious um, feel um, it's got a really lovely drape to it but actually what's nice about it is it does hold its shape a little bit as well which is really nice um, we thought it would work really well for the like a camisole top so something like the Ogden cami by True Bias it'd be really nice lovely for summer and you could pair it with so many different um, bottoms so even like a, just a classic pair of jeans would look really lovely with this this is another visco satin again ex designer source from Italy so like the other visco satins it almost has a feel and handle like a silk what you would expect from a silk it's got this beautiful bronze colored background and then this kind of spot design is kind of animal inspired but it's a little bit more abstract not as um, kind of real as some of them we're going to show you today it's completely opaque it has an absolutely beautiful drape and movement um, obviously with this as well you wouldn't have to worry about kind of any direction to the print um, you could play yeah so it gives you lots of options with this type of fabric we thought it'd work really well for the LED by Closet Core Patterns. Um, especially with those big sleeves, this would really work beautifully with it. This is another kind of leopard print inspired fabric for you again, ex designer source from Italy. This one though is a viscose twill and it's got a really beautiful soft brush texture to it. So it's got a very luxurious feel. It's lovely and soft against the skin really really love the kind of blues and greens and um, brown background the team think it's almost like a camo um, style background and then obviously on top it's got this black um, leopard print design again it's non-directional you could play with um, I suppose the different designs and the different colors it's completely opaque um, it's a bit heavier than what you'd see for like a viscose lawn or chalice um, so it's more medium weight, but it's completely opaque and still has that beautiful drape and movement. We thought this would work incredible as a jumpsuit pattern. And the one we pulled today is from Atelier Jupe. And it's the L jumpsuit, you can't quite see there, but um, from the line drawing, it would work really, really well for this type of fabric. And it would be really quite statement. This is a viscose crepe, so it's got the classic kind of crepe-like texture to it. It's really lovely and lightweight and has a really gorgeous drape and movement. Again, it's not kind of like turn your face leopard print, it's, got, it's a bit more subtle. Um, it's obviously got this gorgeous light blue that goes very well with the brown um, that's included in the fabric. And then what's really special is that one end of the selvage, it's got this almost like spray painted bright electric blue stripe on it so I think for any garment you're going to make with this you want to make the stripe kind of a statement so maybe even at the hem or something like that it's completely opaque so you wouldn't have to worry about lining it so what we thought would work really well because of the stripe would be a pair of trousers like the Portobello's by Nina Lee and then what you could do is use that electric blue stripe for the bottom of the trousers um, and that would be really really quite a statement and really show off the fabric to its full potential. This is an ex designer fabric source from Italy. It's 100% cotton, it's really luxurious feel cotton. Um, it got obviously quite a crisp handle to it but it still has a little bit of drape as well it would gather very beautifully and especially with this massive bold out there design it would really cater really well for some nice gathers um, this obviously does have the leopard print in some of the sections but then it's also got this like bold polka dot and floral design on the paler side so like the white it is slightly sheer um, it depends how comfortable you would be and um, whether you'd want to line it or not what we thought with this type of fabric like I said because it would gather so well um, 
and it is very statement and the print would really do really well if you see if it was gathered together it would really make something of that print we thought a dress like the Wilder gown which is one of my favourites from Friday Pattern Company would look incredible in this and because it's 100% cotton it would be really cool for the summer months and yeah it would be such a statement beautiful dress this is again a very kind of classic um, animal print design with the kind of classic kind of yellowy brown colours in the background so this is very very on trend at the moment again this fabric was sourced um, from Italy and it's an ex-designer fabric this is actually a viscose twill um, and again it's got that really beautiful kind of soft brushed finish so it's so, so soft against the skin it'll be lovely to wear it would work really well for a, any sort of dress pattern again it's non-directional so you wouldn't have to worry about any directions when you're sewing it's completely opaque as well um, but we also thought as well as a dress you could make yourself some culottes so we've pulled out the named pattern Nini culottes and we think these would look really amazing just imagine that this as a pair of culottes and then pair it with like a plain black t-shirt and it'd be really really amazing this is another classic animal print design um, we have seen so much zebra print all over the high street and high-end fashion designers at the moment we keep sharing different pictures amongst us in the team of this zebra print this is actually a really special fabric because it's a cotton viscose blend so you get a bit of the drape from the viscose but it's very breathable because of the cotton and it's got this pk weave so it's got a slight texture to it um, which holds a little bit of structure but like i said it still has some drape and although it's white background it's completely opaque and then obviously it's got this striking black zebra print design all over it um, we think this would work incredibly well for a blouse with some statement sleeves because of the fact that the fabric holds its structure and shape it worked really well for some big big sleeves which I think everyone in the sewing community is loving at the moment um, so the fabric, the pattern we chose was the Thea um, blouse by Liberty Fabrics. We've got a couple of these in stock and as you can see they've got really statement sleeves so this fabric would work incredibly well with them and would show it off to its full potential. This is obviously still got the animal inspired print in the background with the like really big bold cream and black stripes but it's also got a very large kind of abstract leaf design on it as well but we've included it because it's still got that kind of zebra striped background as well so this is a visco satin so again like the other satins it handles and feels like silk it's got an amazing drape um, and it's completely opaque as well so you wouldn't have to worry about lining it we thought it would work really well for something like the Charlie Kaftan by Closet Core Patterns or you could make a, a kind of like wrap dress like the Hannah wrap dress from By Hand London would work really well as well with this fabric um, especially as you wouldn't have to necessarily worry about which direction the stripes with were in you could just embrace it and I think the browns and the blacks and the kind of beige colours work really really beautifully together so I hope you guys really enjoyed the fabric edit we've done and have lots of inspiration to make your own animal print inspired look. We hope that you've enjoyed as well as pairing some patterns for you to help you with your sewing journey and your sewing inspiration. All the fabrics we showed you today are ex-designer fabrics sourced from Italy. So once they're gone, I can't get them again, unfortunately. Um, and we've shown you a range of different types of fabric as well. So hopefully there'll be something for everyone out there. And obviously let us know below which one's your favourite. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.